Hey there, uh, welcome to my channel. Well, I've got this piece of fabric and it's actually kind of a, I don't know, duck or canvas. It's pretty heavy weight. And um, so a lot of times whenever I'm doing my paint projects, I will clean my brush off. And sometimes I pick out one of my stamps that I made or I use some stencils or some, this is a, this little honeycomb looking pattern right here that's from a hot pad silicone hot pad and I just stamp it on there and some of them are just me painting anyway so I'm gonna make I've got a show coming up this weekend and uh, an art show and so I wanted to make some little things that are not quite as pricey as my watercolor art my real real art and so I've made a template a template and a mask all right so I could just cut this use this as a pattern to cut this is nine by five that's gonna give me a little half inch seam then uh, be just a kind of a little pencil pouch or whatever. But I also, when I cut this, I just measured in, you know, an inch from each corner and then uh, my five inches. But then I can see where I want to cut this so that I don't lose anything. And so, like, that's kind of a little yucky looking spot right there. Right there. But if I put that over on the edge where it's in the kind of in the seam allowance and then, you know, then I still have some space down here that I can use that. Or maybe I want to cut this one. I know this is a hard decision because like I've really like looked at this for months thinking about do I want to cut this up just yet? And I have just been real stingy with this. Oh, I love that. I love that. So I don't know. I might start right there. That's kind of really cool and fun. All right. Well, I'm going to cut a few of these. And so what I'm going to do when I figure out where I want to do this and I'm going to try to stay straight grain and not crossways although it wouldn't hurt if I did it crossways uh, and I'll just mark it with a pen because that's going to be in the seam allowance and I've got I'm going to close this with a zipper so I'm going to go, cut some of these and then I'll be back okay I've decided I cut the a whole bunch of these let me just show you and I was trying to decide whether I wanted to do like a solid bag or put two two things together. Anyway, I decided to do, because I didn't want to go and buy some more fabric, I just do two pieces and I'll put these together. And I, some of my people like to know where I've got stuff. This is from the estate sale. This is left over from scrub caps. So anyway, what I've done, I'm going to use this zipper, which is way longer than I need, and I have cut a piece that is two inches by three inches fold it in half like that and then fold it in half again and that's going to be my tab ends for my zipper and so what I'm going to do is I will uh, be careful about how I cut my zipper but I'm going to go ahead and cut this off at the end and make sure I don't pull that tab. This has got the, the stops on there so I'm going to clip it right before the stops like that Pull it back a little bit and uh, let me go ahead and cut this in half so it's the fold and fold like that and I'm going to cut it in half just folding it and cutting it in half you can measure inch and a half would be that so I'll cut that and put that on the end of my zipper like that and I'll stitch that and I want this, this zipper needs to be an inch shorter than this bag because I'll have a half inch seam. There's a cat hair. Can you imagine that? And so that'll go like that. And so I'm going to measure and make, make sure my, this is nine. So I'm going to cut my zipper at eight inches. All right, so this is super important. I'm going to cut this zipper. Let me show you, this is, this is nine, so I'm gonna cut the zipper eight inches, and that tab, that zipper pull, needs to be not off over here. It needs to be inside of that eight inches. So, so this is gonna be my eight inches right here. I'll cut that there, and then pin this right like that.
and then put those ends together, tuck that in there, and pin that. And then we'll go to the sewing machine and stitch straight across here and here. All right, so I have that stitched nice and close here and here, just with a straight stitch. And then, uh, and the zipper is going to be open a little bit. Need to figure out what I want to be the top of my bag. It doesn't seem to matter. I think I want this to be the top with that pink edge, and then that's the top. So, right sides down. Let me turn it this way. All right, this is right now, but I need to put it face down. The zipper's open right now. That's not very important, but it will be here in just a little bit. So I'm going to pin this in place. And we will go to the sewing machine and stitch this. And I'm going to stitch a little wider, not so close to the teeth, because I really want some of that, uh, that pink of that zipper to show through. All right, let's go to the sewing machine. I want to change out my uh, presser foot. Get that thread back up there. Mash that little button. All right, my needle's right in the middle, and I need it to be not right in the middle. I want to put it over onto the right-hand side shift that and it doesn't matter I mean there's so many colors going on here it doesn't really matter which color I've got going on I'm gonna put this where the zipper the edge of the zipper foot is closer to the the pull the teeth so that I can make sure I get a, a wide channel of that pink showing And I want to lift that up and pull that zipper pull back so it doesn't get in the way of my stitches. And I'm going to do two rows of stitching because this is so close to the edge. Let me do this, turn that, and put this right on the edge. And I'm still going to get a nice wide area of pink, but because I'm not surged or zigzagged. All right, now I'm going to repeat that step with the other piece of fabric. I changed my thread to turquoise and I'm going to change my needle position and I went ahead and surged the edges. You don't have to surge the edges, but I did. And before I make the next ones, I will surge the edges before I start.
to finish this up. Now you could trim this off if you want to or you can just leave it. Oh, you know what? I want to put a ribbon in here. I'm not really sure which end would need the ribbon, but I went ahead and put it here. And I'm also going to unzip this the rest of the way. So I'm going to fold this over and uh, kind of pinch this together. I'm going to make sure I do not catch that little bit right there. And I still have my zipper foot on here, so that is going to work out really well. So I'm going to do a little back stitch, a couple of stitches forward. If it'll go, get my fingers out of the way so you can see. A couple of stitches back. And I'm lining up this corner to make sure that this is good for this edge down, down here where you cannot see. There we go. Cute, cute, cute. Here's how the little artist pencil bag or turned out looking with a cute little pink zipper. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure you like, subscribe, share me with your friends. Maybe hop over to myhallcloset.com and uh, check out my other DIY projects over there. And I'll see you next time. Bye.